What delightful sardine dish am I coming up today with? Because you guys, it's sardine day four for Harry and I, and I have got a delicious, from what I saw and what I'm thinking about, that I'm gonna make for us today. So you guys, come back and we'll get started. Yes, indeed. Good morning everyone, hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back to Loving It on Keto. I'm Wendy, the cameraman is Harry and our little Chihuahua, little Sally girl, is somewhere around here and she'll usually make an appearance at least at the end, if not sooner. There's certain words she hears like, steak, hamburger, she knows them and she'll be in here, lickety split. Anyway you guys, how's everybody doing? We are, it's Halloween today, as you can see, because we film uh, the, and then we put it out the next day. So we're going over to Chalice and David's house and having pizza. I'm making homemade keto pizza and we're giving out candy with them and we're just gonna have a great time. But we are also on a sardine, 30 day sardine challenge where Harry and I each eat one can of sardines. And for those of you who don't know, I have never wanted, never thought in a million years I would ever like or try canned sardines. So go look at that video. Harry will link, link that at the end because you guys, I was terrified of trying sardines. That's yeah, much weird. I, 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 I always have been. So I, I am for 40 years in front of you. You did, and how many times did I say, ooh, go eat those in the other room? Uh -huh. So anyway, I am pleasantly surprised that I like sardines. If you like canned tuna and you like fish, try these sardines. Now, I don't know about the rest of the sardines. These are the only ones I have tried. These are wild caught and sustainable. Their brand is Season, right here, for those of you who are asking me what brand I'm eating. These are skinless and boneless, and they're in 100% olive oil. Please get the ones that are in olive oil because I noticed even with tuna, when you get them packed in water, they smell more fishy mm -hmm. than they do packed in oil. Unfortunately, tuna is usually a soy or a canola oil, which is very bad for you. I always rinse my tuna completely before I eat it if it's canned in oil. But these, I just have been picking them out of the olive oil and most of the recipes that I've been looking at, they use the actual olive oil that the fish are in because of the flavoring that the oil brings to them. You have to remember, this olive oil and the fish are vacuum sealed. So it's preserved. So the oil is not um, oxidizing at all in the can of fish, or the fish would be rotten too. So it's unlike the rule of an olive oil, once you open it and you need to use it within three months after opening because it starts oxidizing, you need to leave it in a cool, dark shelf. That's why olive oil, the good ones, are in a dark glass. Um, there's all kinds of rules to olive oil. Um, that you need to see and, and know. But if they're using fresh olive oil, they're packing these, they're sealing them. All the air has been taken out, they're vacuum sealed. That olive oil is just as fresh as a brand new bottle of olive oil that you get, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. So, and all the, all the chefs that have gone to school that are certified know that as well and they use it in their cooking too. So I just wanna share that with everybody. All the little, nip tricks and and everything that I've got. Hey, you guys, Harry dropped our camera the other day. The card that he used last night, I made some delicious eggnog, cream cheese, brown butter bites that we're taking to chalices. And I was so excited about them. So we're going to remake these for everybody. That whole segment. Yeah, the card, the card that was in the uh, the SD card corrupted and lost that just that that particular file yes so I'm bringing so. that to you 
probably uh, day after tomorrow or so because it is an excellent thing to have for the holidays, I'm telling you. But I just wanted to share that. We're having issues with things getting corrupt and it doesn't help that we drop the camera on the tile floor too. That didn't no, that was even had a different card in at the time. So anyway, not, things uh, die, things break. The hard drive got corrupted. That's why we don't have a Halloween video that we filmed that we were halfway through. Um, so we have some issues and things get old and one day they die. It's like Harry's computer. One day they die, blue screen of death. You got to start all over. So anyway, I digress. How did we do yesterday? Now, you guys, we started uh, joint. We joined a gym. We've been working out, and I feel thinner. I was disappointed this morning, but I know that I am probably going to gain weight from inflammation and working muscles that are sore and um, are not used to be working. So I'm not too concerned about weight in the month of November. I am sticking true to my one-to-one -one protein to. Uh, fat ratio. We've raised our protein up and we've lowered our fat and I so that we can that do way. that. And we feel really good eating sardines. Now, Harry is going to enter my um, you know, morning. Pal Paula said she has the same problem. Yes, she does. She did, feels better on one to one. She yeah. was texting us this morning. Our buddy Paula. Anyway, you guys, we're going to show our um, morning glucose and ketones here. It's finger pricking time. It's finger pricking time. Harry does a dance and I do the finger pricking time. Okay, Whatever. it's time, you guys. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Yes, I can smell the coffee, so I've got to get this done, oh, you guys. Yeah, because I want to go have my coffee. It hurt like a son's a gun. I don't know why. You don't do any work. That's right. I sit on the couch and eat keto bonbons all, all day, day long. long. And I sit over there and watch slaving. videos. There's no such thing as. Oh, I'm on. A, I, there's, I've got a point oh, six. Oh, look! I got a point six. You look, got a point seven. What no, the heck? Look! One point seven. Oh my god! Look! What's look, that all about? Sardines. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Woo, man! Am I excited? That's exciting. Wow. Well, I got a point six. So that's pretty good for yes, me. Yes, it is. I am excited. I am just. Uh, look, look at my blood. <gasps> 79. Whoa. Whoa, wow, Harry. Well. Isn't that bad? No, that's good. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. You know, where they can see it. Well, you guys. You're high. I'm high. I'm going to have my coffee though. It's going to be sweet and I'm going to test this again in an hour because my ketones were up. But I am having insulin issues. I can tell because of the gym and what's happening there. So, okay. You guys, we'll come back in the night. Here, Harry, can you take this one? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Ow, ow, ow. Is that where it hurts? Say it. Okay, back. back in the next segment. Now you guys have to remember, Harry and I go to bed very late at night, sometimes early in the morning. So our sleep cycle is different than um, most people's. <laughs> so when I get up in the morning, is it a dawn effect that I'm having or not? I don't know. Dawn effect usually between 3 a.m. and 8 a.m. for people who go to bed at a normal sleep time. We're not going to bed until 1 30, sometimes 3 a.m. like Harry did yesterday. So our sleep cycle is different. We're not in the normal circadian rhythm that most people are. Maybe that's my problem right there in a nutshell. But we get paid this month. We get paid once a month. When we get paid, I am ordering a CGM for Harry and a CGI GM for me. All of the thank yous you guys have donated to and sent to me are going towards the CGM, one for Harry and one for me. So I truly appreciate it. And if you guys wanna know about that, if you guys wanna help our channel grow, if you'd like to help us and thank us, there's a little thank you down in the description that yeah, you can right go below, into below and click video. on and you can donate whatever you want. And I'm not asking you to, I'm just saying that's what I'm talking about because you're gonna go, what are you talking about? So I'm just sharing that. Um, anyway, you guys, how did what did we eat yesterday? And I'm telling you that homemade sauce that I made is absolutely delicious. Who is this? This is Wendy's. Carb Manager is the app. A couple of you have asked me, what app do I use? Carb Manager. Someone said, 
about my video yesterday, how do you know what your macros are if you don't measure your food? I did measure my food. My butter is pre-cut into exact one tablespoon grams. And I measured five in a row and they all measured the amount I need to be one tablespoon. I cut and measured my cream cheese into two two ounce cubes. Um, eggs, you look up four large eggs. So you can go to Carb Manager, and I'll share everybody that real quick. Um, I create right here, my foods, recipes, and meals. I create my recipes, and all my recipes are in here. For me only, I'm not posting these out to everybody. And so I have mine. So when I want to get one of my recipes, my high protein banana custard keto chow. I just go to that and click on it. My chaffles, my, my uh, protein cheese stuffed turkey meatballs. All of them are on here. I have recipes that I populate in here. Look at all my recipes. And there's more, here we go. So all, and view more, here's more. So I have all my recipes in here. Yeah, because so, you put them into a cookbook. Because I'm going to put them into a cookbook. But anyway, so when I make a recipe that you see, such as my um, uh, buttery uh, cream cheese um, sauce yesterday, I created that recipe in here. What did I call it again? Um, I have a printout of it. What did I call it, Harry? I'm thinking... Cream cheese butter, what is it? Hold please, I'll go get it. So Wendy's buttery cream cheese garlic sauce, I would type that in in my recipes, go find it and it would be here and I would do the portion that I wanted and it would populate it. So that's what I do and I have a printout of mine so I can grab them in this catalog that I have when I wanna recook some because I have so many recipes now, I can't remember exacts so I go back and find my own recipe. Or I can go in here and find my own recipe. That's how I do it and you can do the same thing. It's a free app, it's free on your app and you can either do your custom foods where you can scan it in with the barcode if it's not in here or you can make your own recipe. Just wanted to share that with everybody. Okay, now I don't wanna make this too long because we have to leave and Harry needs to get this in the can. So, log, yesterday. Yesterday, I had a total of 1,511 calories, 12 total carbs, 63 protein. I was down on my protein and 118 fat. And I vlogged everything Where in is that here. At? Right here. Oh, I'm looking at the circle. Okay, I got it. 12 total carbs, 63 protein, 118 fat. The small numbers that are lighter on the sides are what I pre programmed that I want my macros to be every day, including the calorie count. I already know my target. I populate what I ate and it gives me the difference below. I hope that makes sense. Harry's. <laughs> Card manager, go to yesterday. I had nothing. Where's your... No. <gasps> she screwed up. No, I did not. I put it in. I put it in yesterday. I'll have to re-put it in and I apologize. So we don't have Harry's. That's my bad. Anyway. What happened? When you did your uh, SD card freak out? No. <laughs> I thought I sat there and did it yesterday. Wait a minute. You did. You asked for did my phone. Did it come on today? Because I could have done it. It could have hit 12 midnight. Oh. No, nope, not today either. If I'm doing it late at night and 12 midnight hits, it throws half of it onto the next day. So you have to watch that if you're doing stuff late, late at night. Because oh, 12.01, it goes to today. Anyway, you guys, I went up six tenths. Yes, I was still sore yesterday. Harry went down one and two tenths. Yeah, I do better. And you on had 1,700 and some calories. You had really good calories yesterday. 
and you had great macros. So that's why I think that happened, you guys. So we also have been asked, are we gonna do our measurements? Here's the deal. As part, we are having a trainer um, and they are gonna do our measurements. And I measurements, depending on who's doing them and where they put the measuring tapes are a little off one way or the other, but not too much. We would rather wait and get our measurement and our baseline measurements there, yeah. there at the gym because every month they redo them and we will have a running tab from the day we started going forward and I would rather do that and I don't know how they measure, but it may be off from what I did at home and I'm gonna try to wear kind of the same thing when I get measured so that that is more accurate. At least somebody's doing the same spots or close because just like everything else, it's close, it's not exact. You know, um, my thighs are wider at one part and smaller at another. So depending on where you measure them, depending on what bra I wear or shirt I wear can be a little bit different if it's holding me in or not, you know? So if it's a minimizer, so there's all those factors, but it helps you, it gives, gives you a gauge to go by. So that's what we're gonna do, and when we get those, we will share with everybody. Now, speaking of sharing, I know you guys are longtime viewers and subscribers. When you subscribe, did you hit the notification bell? When you hit that bell, did you hit all? So you get all the notifications and updates as they go up. Because yeah, because we've been asked. I'm starting to use the community tab. If you go up above, there's a community tab. Click on that and I'll pin something. All of you asked me, what were the videos? Who did I watch to find out about those top 10 things that are gonna be short, short and why, including the ketchup packets and mustard and all those things? I posted the two videos I watched I couldn't find the other one, but when you when you view a video, usually they pull up other ones that are ex that match kind of the same thing, and you can hit on the ones that you can see. But I put up the two that I watched that I could remember because they came up Where? really quickly in the community tab. Go to the community tab and look it up. I have both on there and they're in parentheses. One's the 10 top things, the other one's the 14 things, and they kind of correlate with it. Now, something yeah, I'm else. I'm looking for the fuel one that I saw right well, now. Well, something I'm, else, the truckers that yeah. are answering, you can read them in the comments of uh, yesterday's video. Yes, there is a diesel fuel. Remember, diesel runs trains. Runs the country. And trucks. So if a gas truck is a diesel truck, how can they get our gas to the pumps? Just be wary of it. Don't run out and, and hoard things, but think wisely of what you're gonna need for a month or two, right? Or three, if that product is not on the shelf at the time, just like what happened during lockdown when everybody was um, going through the big um, virus, lockdown, you know, virus and um, plan accordingly. Don't go and grab 18 tons of toilet paper or whatever and, and get in a fight with the person next to you. Um, just be calm and methodical about it and grab extra when you're shopping. You know, grab one or two extra things as you're going. Stay, shelf staple foods, uh, cleaning products, right? Um, toilet paper, napkins, uh, perishables as far as those things are concerned. You don't need a million tons every time you go, but grab a couple and have it in the back. Harry and I get some, uh, are, but just be on the safe side also in case we have a water problem. Get some get bags water. and a bag of lime. Yes. Anyway, sweet lime. You yeah. can get that at any um, um, like Home Depot or anything else, and there's a reason for that. But anyway, if if we couldn't flush a toilet, you could use a paper bag and a bucket, and you could put some sweet paper bag in was not a good not idea. a paper bag, plastic bag and a bucket. I know that sounds gross. Throw some sweet lime on that, tie it up, and set it as far away up against a fence line or something. If you have a lot of property, you can dig a big hole, and you can put waste in there. But if you live in the city like we do, that's a different subject. Anyway, you guys, I just, I, I don't mean to get off on these things. Yeah, don't get me going. But we're seeing and hearing things from all different levels of folks. So I'm just preparing. Yeah, you always want to be prepared. Just preparing. Anyway, 
hopefully, Enough you know, talk. most likely none of this stuff is really going to happen. But you should always be prepared. Anyway. Just like for winter storms. Anything else? Nope. I'm done. <laughs> okay. If I say the word but, but. I'm not going to say anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Really? Okay. I don't trust him. He turns into Marty. His ears get pointed on top. His nostrils flare. And I can tell the Marty is coming out. Yes, it is. Okay. Come back in the next segment because I'm cooking a sardine dish. We are eating it. And then you guys, we're going to close out the video because we are going to be uh, uploading. Harry's got to figure out what the card that was fragmented and didn't show any of that stuff. Corrupted. Corrupted. It's Everything's corrupted on file. that. Everything's on that. So we're having storage problems. You know why everything's old and needs to be replaced. Yes, it is. It is. Okay, come back on the next segment because I have a delicious Italian sardine dish that I think everybody will love. And it, I'm making it easy, easy, easy. I am simplifying it if it's got to be delicious. So see you guys in the next segment. Okay, you guys, near as I can tell, what I am making today is simple pasta puttanesca. Okay. Puttanesca. But I'm making a simplified version of this Italian dish. What's yes, puttanesca mean? It's Italian For and it sounds lovely. Something cool. Okay, got yes. it. Got it. Yes. Sardines in pasta and uh, tomato basil sauce. So, you guys, this is what we're going to need. Come over here and look, Harry. Oh, puttanesca. Puttanesca. Oh, okay. Puttanesca. <laughs> Come over here. We have our two cans of sardines. Right here. Yeah. It's the seasoned brand, skinless, boneless. Yes, it is. We have some California virgin olive oil. I'm using some Rouse tomato basil. I am adding some crushed red pepper. You can omit this if you guys are sensitive shadow, to oxalate. Shadow, your body, shadow. So I keep asking you to move over. Oxalates, if you're sensitive, don't use it. And I'm putting in some whole crushed garlic. We are using the healthy noodle as our pasta today. You guys can make noodles several different ways. There's great keto and carnivore recipes out there. I even like using the plain egg life wraps cut up as noodles. That would work as well. Even zoodles would work for this. So you, you or um, cauliflower uh, rice would work for this too. Get your cauliflower rice, steam it really good, and use that for your pasta instead. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna get started. Let me move these over here. Now, here's the deal. Putting in some olive oil. If you love sardines and you love that olive oil that it's sitting in, you can use that instead of fresh version olive oil. I want a milder taste. So I'm using this because the other olive oil has that delicious fish aroma and taste. And I'm just choose to well, use my virgin olive oil. And she's right. One of the viewers said the difference between the cans could be that it's the extra virgin yeah. olive oil. I thought these were 100% extra virgin and they're not. they're not. They're olive oil. So they would be a lighter color. The first press of the olive is the darkest the most intense flavor and it's the extra virgin and then after that it is virgin and then it is just olive oil and that olive oil can be a mixture it has to say a hundred percent olive oil or they can add if it just says olive oil it can have canola oil in it and that's a whole nother discussion yeah but i'm putting these one. in and i'm going to put one tablespoon in here as well okay Maybe I'm going to put two in here. Oh, look at how What's nice and dark like that is. What's the shelf life on opened olive oil anyways? Is there, even, is there even a shelf life? Yes, three months. Now, I guess I'll give an olive tutorial. You're the one who tells me I talk too long, Harry. Then you ask me the question. No, I... California extra virgin olive oil is probably the freshest because everything else is imported and comes over. They have to have a seal of approval from the California Olive Growing Association. Over here, you want to look for these. You also want to see the harvest date was May 2021. You want to use it unopened before 8-26-2023. There is a lot number that's on every single bottle. Now, once you open this, 
You've got about three months if you've kept this in a cool, dark, dry shelf. If you're leaving it where the sun can hit it or where there's heat, it can oxidize. The minute you open olive oil, it starts oxidizing slowly. It's not like a fine wine. The older it is, the better it is. That is not what happens. So you want to use it and you want to make sure that you get the best harvest date, the, the earliest harvest date, and the longest best sell-by date on the bottle. Once you open it, you need to know that you need to use it. So I've got my olive oil here. You cook Italian things with olive oil. Yes, you do. So I've got my olive oil. And in this pan, I'm gonna get it hot because we want to heat our sardines. We don't wanna cook them, we just wanna heat them. You know, this would be new for me. I've never had uh, sardines that were heated or cooked. It was all so. straight out of a can for me. You know. Ooh, I'm already getting stronger. Oh, you opened it all by yourself? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's got to be super easy, super simple, you guys. I've already rinsed and drained my noodles. We just have to heat them up. They're going in the big pan. I'm just getting the water off of them. And I used one package, which is two servings. And here's the information. I get these at Costco. I think you can order them online at uh, Amazon as well. And you guys, if you're a member at Costco, you know you can order it uh, online, right? So, oops, there's noodles in here. Glad I saw it. I want all the noodles, all the noodles. Yeah, I paid for them. Yes, we did. I we want to eat them. For them. Yes, we did. And it's the only noodle that I really like. I really. I don't think have we had any other noodles that I like. You love the noodles that I make from Egg Life Wrap. Well, that's, no, I'm talking about bought, already made noodles. You don't like the shirataki no, uh, no, miracle uh, uh, noodle. No. Anything that smells like fish turns me off. You think, but see, that's the thing about sardines. It doesn't. Harry, you're a talking head. Turn around and talk. No, I, talk that means I'm not a talking head. That means I'm a voiceover. Whatever. Get over here. I'm going to take my um, sardines and I'm going to try to get them out of the can whole. One thing the chef did on the one that I watched, because there's several different ways to make that, is they put two sardines in the tomato sauce, smashed them up, and let them melt in. I don't want to do that. This is a simplified version of what needs to happen. And I'm basically putting my sardines into my olive oil. It popped into my hand. And it's fine if there's any olive oil in here. Yeah, because you put it into olive it oil. It adds to the flavor, right. For the puff. Yes, indeed, for the puff. Now, if you have the bigger sardines, i got to turn this way down. Let's put that one over here. Just let me get this out, Harry. And you need to let me just do this. In other words, that's another way of saying, Harry, Be you need quiet. to shut up. That's right. Okay. Interesting. Now, quickly add a teaspoon of garlic, minced, crushed, however you buy yours. And if you like a lot of garlic, add a lot of garlic. Oh, yeah. Add a lot of garlic to that. Yes, indeed. Let your garlic cook a minute. Smell that. Oh, man. <coughs> Cover it and set it aside. Really? You don't let it cook, huh? Sardines are already cooked. They're steamed at a very high steamed rate. All we're doing is getting them warmed. We're tossing the garlic in there to cook it. Now, if you like shaved onions this is where you would put a little bit of onion in that too onions don't do as well for me i love them but i also don't have any so onions would absolutely go in there yes indeed so what i am doing is i'm heating up this i am just heating up the noodles that's all i am doing the noodles are good to go they just need to be heated tossed in olive oil
and the water cooked off. I'm going to turn this on low. Don't burn yourself, Harry. I'm going to simmer this. Just keep it simmered. Turn off the sardines. The sardines. The pasta. Remember the pasta? And... I think bacon or pochetta, you know, Italian ham of some sort would be delicious in this as well. Here's the bag. I use purple and bacon crumbles and I put in a tablespoon. And I'm just going to turn up the heat on this just to get them hot. Pop these around in that olive oil. Do the same if you use your uh, cauliflower rice or noodles or anything. Bring them really good, whatever noodle you use. Throw it in some garlic oil. Add some salt. Gosh, it's all happening again. Get your noodles cooked. Just Okay, get them all in there and trade places. Now, this is on low, this is back on high. Want to get my bacon cooked, see what I'm saying? I just want that bacon warmed, my sardine warmed. Now, here's the deal. You put in a cup for a Harry and I because we're not we're keto, and we have to measure our marinara sauces, you guys, because of the tomatoes, right? I put in one cup, so that's two servings per person into this. And I'm heating it up. I don't want to stir and mash my sardines. I want to let them mix with that delicious olive oil. I want to put a little bit of salt on this. I want to put, because I know those sardines are light, I want to put just a little bit of pepper for a little bit of kick. You can omit it completely. You can add or delete as you see fit. If you want pepper, you can add pepper at this point. If you have any um, Fresh basil, put a couple leaves in there. I don't have any basil right now. I'm looking to see if I do. I don't think I do. So basil is not an option. But I do have, um, somewhere in here. I got too many herbs, man. I have a little bit of Italian seasoning. Italian northern Italian herbs and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit just a little bit on just a little bit this is the herbs sorry Harry I said I was going to be moving fast I know you're, you're huffing and puffing over there so basically this is done and we are ready to plate Man, now, here's what I want to do first. I want to dress my noodles. Besides putting olive oil on it, I'm just going to sprinkle some of the cheese on it. I'm going to give it a toss. Get it coated in all the sauce and all the good stuff. Bring it over here. Come on. So then in the bottom of my bowl, I've got beautiful noodles in a delicious virgin olive oil and some of the delicious shaved Parmesan cheese in here, salt, 
right? It's all in there, all the flavors of Italy. Yum, deliumptious. Now I'm gonna take my sauce, my, how do you say it? Pudinesca. And I'm taking it and I'm putting it over. Man, that looks good, don't it? The pasta. You guys, I couldn't go to sleep last night. My brain was going crazy on how to ketofy all the recipes that I have been looking at. How to make them more simple than some of the stuff they do, right? How to do that all. Look at the garlic. You can see that garlic in there and the delicious tomato sauce, you guys. Tomato sauce is delicious with sardines. They use the red sauce so much in a lot of the Italian dishes with the um, sardines. Now you just want to top your dish with a little bit more Parmesan. You can add some catamala pieces on top, put some cat, cat Kalamata olives on top or in your sauce, but I did the Katamala olives the other day, so I didn't want to do that today. But you certainly can add them. You can add the black ones uh, as well. They would be delicious. And you guys, I'm gonna put I'm gonna top for Harry and I only. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on it. What is this? Uh, a little bit of red crushed oh, pepper. Red, yeah. I'm gonna put a little bit. I don't have any um, fresh cilantro, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on top, or parsley, flat leaf parsley. I'm just gonna put a little bit for looks here. Uh, it would be delicious. So if you have a fresh herb garden, please put, and you love cilantro, Italian parsley, flat leaf parsley. If you love um, basil, look at that, you guys. Mm. Isn't that delicious? And it smells garlicky, Italian, delicious right now. Yep. It truly does, you guys. So we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna come back and do a taste test while this is cooling off just a little bit because it's gonna be super duper hot. And we'll give it a taste test for you guys. But this is my simple pasta puttanesca with sardines. Yes, indeed. Harry, you get to taste. Pick the one you want. Mm. Make sure you get a piece with the sardine in oh, it. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah, right. Sure. Oh, here's one. Okay. And the tomato sauce. I want you to taste it in that garlic I tomato. I want it without the cheese right now. Yes. Because I want to see it's like, you know, just like this. You guys. Yep. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mix some up with your, get some of the linguine noodles. I want to try it with cheese. See? Got a, little, got a nice piece of cheese on there. Mm. Yep. Mm. I'll try it's it with funny because the, the cheese is hard. Right. You know? And it's got that cheesy sour taste. You know the, the, the uh, little red peppers you find? Yeah. It really adds. But it's really good. When okay, you... we'll try the noodles with the sauce. So I got some noodles, I got sardine, and some sauce. Mmm. That's the bite. Is it? Yeah. You want to take all, you want to take a little bit of noodles, some of the sauce, and a piece of sardine. A little cheese. A little bit of cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay. Try that out, man. <clears throat> you guys, I'm excited that I can bring these sardine recipes to you, and I didn't try them. This is in my head based on what I've seen um, and trying to get a simplified and a ketofied version when you're dealing with pastas. Okay, I'm going in for just the piece of the sardine. Yeah. 
with some of the sauce. Cooked in the sauce right there. There's my sardine, just in the sauce. Mm. It stayed firm. Mm -hmm. By heating it and not cooking it, mm. Mm. and that garlic. Yeah, mm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's really, really, really good. Something. You could serve these to anybody, any fish lover, and they would love it. I'm trying it with just the cheese like Terry did. Mm. See anything about the cheese? It's mm -hmm. a little bit. It's the mm -hmm. toughest thing in your, in basically in your mouth. The rest of it's like melts in your mouth, man. Mm -hmm. Now try it with a little piece of all of it with noodles. I just got some of that pepper. I see what you uh -huh. say. Noodles and a piece of cheese. Mm. And a piece of there's a piece of there it is sardine. Hard to get a lip at all. Really? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good bite right there. Mm. Ooh. See, all, all together, mm -hmm. it got just, oh. Cooking the noodles and olive oil. I would, I would definitely. Putting some cheese in the noodles. Putting definitely salt buy that. on the noodles makes a huge difference because the noodles, it carries it through. You guys, it meshes it. It is really good. Yeah, isn't it? Oh my gosh. And look, you don't see sardines. You don't see fish in there at all. It is absolutely amazingly delicious, you guys. Mm. I like the shaved Parmesan because like Harry says, it gives you that pungent slice on top. So you've got all the flavors. Yeah. That little bit of the pepper really, and if you don't have pepper, use just a tad Tabasco sauce or just a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Louisiana, Not too much. I would, the Tabasco would give it a different flavor. I okay, think. but the red, if you like crushed peppers, I'm telling you just a little bit gives you just a little bit of heat and it really adds. That is amazingly delicious. I would eat that every single day. And no, I would serve this to guests. I would find out if they're allergic to fish, if they like fish. And I would serve this as my main dish with a side salad, some homemade keto bread and butter with a little bit of Parmesan and garlic on there. Make your Italian um, garlic bread. Sop it up with this sauce. Oh, yeah. And man. you guys have got a fabulous oh, meal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about the bread. If the bread... Whoosh. You can't use the bread because it's ah, going for another recipe. I know that. I have another recipe, you guys, tomorrow. So you guys, we're closing this out for tonight. Uh, we Half of our video has been eaten, so I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm going to show guys, them the end result. I got the end result, but okay, I don't yeah, have... Show that in the next segment. Yeah. And does it have the clothes? I can't remember. If it doesn't, no. let me put a close here, Real you guys. Close. Um, he can insert it, then come back to the clothes. Yeah, right. Depending on what got fragmented or right. corrupted, or it got corrupted. This one got corrupted. Something I forgot to do, I forgot to dust, and I did. I came back after Harry was done. I dusted the top with nutmeg because whatever flavor you make, I think it's really nice to just put a little dusting on. So I came back and did that. You guys didn't see that part, but I just put a little bit of nutmeg on here. Now these have been in for 20 minutes in the freezer and it's time just to pop them out. Just pop them out of your molds. Oops. I was wondering if these guys would get um, in the face, you know, like really good. Oh, gotta them. really smash them in, you know. Well, I tried, but, oh, that's a cool one. Look, there he is. Oh yeah. He's had a, oh, there he is too. That's a good one too. You can't really see because it's, look at those are cute. Those are cute. Anyway, you guys, you just, just take them out, put them in a bag or a sack or a container. Look at those, you guys, how cute are those? Put all these here. The trick is not to handle them too much because your body heat will start to melt them. So they are, uh, oh, remember butter. they're butter. I would chill your plate that you're going to put it on if you're going to put this out for people. I would check it and I would have a chilled plate in the in the freezer and uh, rotate the plate just so that you keep your um, butter bites, any of the butter bites you make, uh, cool and delicious and not melted. That's what I would do. 
No, look at that. Look at him. Look. Oh, yeah, he came out good. He came out good. He came out good. Actually, they all came out really good. Uh, uh, skeletons. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. He came out really good. You just can't see him. They probably could use dye. Look at him. Yeah. They came out really Cute. good. I'm really excited about them. It's too bad you can't see them that well, you know? Yeah. Let's do these cups. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You probably could put drops in the eyes or the nose or the mouth, yeah. you know, get some black or, you know what I mean? You could dress them up a little bit for for kids' purposes, but I don't think they need to be. And I'm saying this would make a, the best no-bake pie ever, wouldn't it, Harry? Yeah. Just put some whipped cream, put it on a frosting. You know, if you can do almonds, which I can't, you can make yourself your almond crust. I can't, so I'm thinking macadamia, pecan, uh, coconut, any of those things. Look, Harry, one for us to try. Oh, cool. So I want to share that with everybody. Look at that. It's a beautiful little cup. Let's see from the side, see how it looks. Oh yeah. Anyway, please remember to like. When you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and all. That way you get notified any time we upload anything, including on our community tab, which I did today, where I went and put in the names of the two videos where I saw the food, the ketchup shortage, the Atwala being taken off the shelves, the ketchup, and all those good things if you want to see it. Hey, you guys, we love you all. Hope you guys had a happy Halloween. We intend to have fun today. So like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. But now I've got to eat this because, man, this is, I, I am amazed at myself. I am amazed at myself. I guess I missed my call. Although cooking school could have ruined me. This is because Sally's main sleep time. Yeah. She's not going to Anyway, gonna guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man. Mmm. <laughs> mmm.